Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part two of the backyard refresh that I'm doing. I still have stuff to do, so there's probably gonna be a part three a um, little later on. After this video, next week I'll have a cleaning video for you all. I have got to get my house clean um, with doing all these yard projects and all this kind of stuff. It my house kind of took a back seat to everything and it's dirty because we've been coming in and out and stuff like that. So it definitely needs to be clean. It definitely needs to be gone through. But I am going to have to do a part three because we want to, we need to pressure wash our house. We need to move our kids trampoline into the place where it's going to go do landscaping around the trampoline. And, um, we are going to replace all the rock that's in here that I'm kind of shoving out of the way to plant these plants. We're going to replace all of this rock with the bigger rock that we did underneath our deck. We just think it looks a lot nicer. So we're going to have, we're going to do that. So we still have quite a bit to do, but, um, I wanted to break it up because obviously we haven't done everything as of yet. Um, the only thing that we have done or that's going to be done in this video is I finally get my, um, deck all organized clean and um, decorated for summer it's super cute I love it I love all the summer colors you'll see that a little bit later on in the video but I did that I planted all these plants and we ended up pressure washing like our pool on the outside of our pool and our deck and we cleaned our deck all that kind of stuff. So mainly this is all the decorating of my pool deck and stuff like that, but I still have tons to do in the backyard still. Um, we wanted to move the trampoline this day, but we didn't quite get to it. It still hasn't been moved because let me tell you, when you're doing stuff like this is definitely a project, huge project, and it takes a lot of time. And whenever you're working throughout the week and you're doing this, it's really hard to get it all done. So there definitely will be a part three. It just won't be um, until probably two weeks from now because I'll have a cleaning video coming out and then I'll have part three. So today I am going to get all of these plants planted and then we are going to start cleaning the deck. We have just a ton of miscellaneous things going on here. So if you are ready to get into it, I am ready. So let's go. I want to say forever. So in years past, I would have planters on this side of the pool with different colored flowers in them, but I always wanted to do something a little bit more permanent. So this year I decided to go ahead and do that and put these grasses, um, line them up on this side. Once they get bigger and they're fuller, I think it's going to look a lot better to where I'll have grasses on one side and then my houses um, on the other side, the ones that line my house. I just think that they it'll look a lot better. So I went ahead and did it this year since we were doing everything else. And I'm so glad that I did because I already like them a lot better than what I normally had there. <laughs> Take me to pay. 
So it was around this time whenever I was talking to my husband about changing all this rack, um, all the little rack. So this is why it kind of looks unfinished at the end to where um, the black stuff is still there. I didn't cut any of that yet until we pull all the little rack out and then we lay the big rack and then I'll go up on the side of the pool and cut the excess um, uh, stuff that you see here, the black stuff. I end up cutting that later on. Not in this video because we didn't get the big rack in this video yet, but I do end up, once we put the big rack down, I go back and I cut it, but I just wanted to leave it there for now. I didn't want to cut it, cut it now. I wanted to have the rock there first, if that makes sense. My poor husband, he had to do all of the shoveling of the rock and all that kind of stuff. This rock was so heavy um, compared to our littler rock that was in the front. And I just, I couldn't do it. It was, I couldn't push it like he's pushing it here. I couldn't do it. It was just too heavy, too big. And so he had to go around and do the whole thing, which he doesn't mind. But I felt really bad because he was the one that was constantly shoveling the rock, um, dumping it and filling the wheelbarrow up. He, he did all the rock. So thank goodness for him because I could not do it. I was sore after the first day when we started doing all of this and I felt like, I, I mean, I know I didn't do nearly as much as he did. So he had to have been sore, but you know, he works with his body every day. So he's used to all that. And it's just like, ugh, I couldn't do it. I was dying. Just for motivation. So I decided to take this from the side of the pool and I'm going to go put it over by the deck. Um, I'm just going to clean it out first and then this is what my kids are going to have all of their um, goggles and their swim toys and everything that is theirs for the pool is going to go in here. I just wanted it, I, I thought about putting it on the deck and I thought it would take up too much space. So this was a perfect space to put it. And once they are done with the pool, they could just come down here, throw all their stuff in it. And I had it in this little tote thing before, but the tote things all busted up. So I just figured I would have it to where it's an easy open and close thing and they can just go in, get what they need and put everything back. And that was the perfect place to put it. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and start pressure washing the deck and um, my husband's going to wet it all down first and then he has some cleaner that he's going to spray on it and then he's going to scrub it and then we're going to rinse it all down. We still need to stain it. Um, that it did not happen in this video, but it is going to be happening uh, soon because you only have a certain amount of time to, you know, from when you clean it to stain it. Otherwise, you're going to have to clean it again, but um, it is makes the deck look so much better it I don't know the cleaner that he used you just kind of spray it on through your ho hose you let it sit for a minute and then you scrub it I'll find out what it is and um, I'll link it down below but it was really good um, so once we get all that clean then I start decorating and then my husband fixes the um, the very last step if you notice that it's missing he ends up fixing that so we have that and then in a future video we are going to be building um, handrails on each side of there and then he's got to put the top rails on so our deck is not finished yet um, but we have all the stuff to do it we just got to have time now <laughs> So 
while he had his pressure washer out, he got sidetracked because he was doing the deck, deck and then he went over and he started doing this because he saw that it was really dirty. Um, he doesn't finish this. He goes back to doing the deck, but he just wanted to see how dirty it was. He's laughing there because um, <laughs> he was supposed to be doing the deck and then he got sidetracked and came over here. But anyway, um, he. I just thought I would just show you how dirty this was a lot of dirt came off this he needs to do the other side and then he removed the stick on the top but uh that's uh, we'll show you all of this too whenever we pressure wash the house that's going to be in part three that pressure washing the house is a huge thing it definitely needs to be done and i cannot wait to see the before and after that hard working every day I'm stressed out 24-7, babe No, no timeouts Wish we could fly away You and I Go to our favorite place Oh, yeah, yeah Make special memories Together I'll be your company Now and forever Facing a wall Okay, so now we're going to go around and finish this side of the pool and pressure wash the sides and the top caps and get that all done. And then we're going to head to the deck and start decorating. I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold, said we loved one another. to do 
I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the solar lights. I'm going to wrap them around the first uh, railing. I'm just going to go around all the way over to the other side. I wanted the solar panel panel to be behind the deck, so that's not the first thing that you saw. So I made sure it was going to go this way instead of the other way. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and start bringing all the furniture up and decorating with all the little pieces. I got a really cute plant that goes on there too. The two pieces that I had before the set that you're getting ready to see is, it was two wicker loungers. They were really big. They were pretty large. So the only thing that we could have on the deck was the was them. And so I went ahead and decided to get rid of those and get something a little bit um, smaller. It was It's like a um, two chairs and a table and to where I can have an umbrella. I just feel like it looks so much better than what I had before. Well, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you get notified every time I upload. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.